2254, a tech firm uh, that was founded in 2019 in Nairobi, Kenya. Okay. So here is where we analyze gaps in the digital uh, field. Uh -huh. By that I mean uh, businesses and entrepreneurs. By entrepreneurs, it also goes to celebrities yeah. and uh, corporates. Yeah. So we help them do business in a better, faster, and smarter way. Yeah. Interesting. Thanks for that. Uh, I was just uh, scanning through your website and uh, you say that you work across East Africa and mainly centered on small, medium and large sized business to provide result oriented digital solutions. So in terms of digital solutions, what are, what are these digital solutions just in case somebody is watching back at home right about now and they want to know what is digital solutions? And you'll see that most big companies, especially corporate companies, like you mentioned in the intro, they have um, a head of digital solutions. So for a head of digital solution, even for a company, what exactly is it? Digital uh, marketing basically is getting yourself known to the people who can be your potential customers. You okay. know, we used to, we were used to traditional marketing, whereby you could uh, have a marketing team that goes office by office advertising your services. But now, past the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, we were able now to shift from that traditional marketing, and now we are embracing more on digital marketing. Because digital marketing, uh, when you post something on Facebook, and then you have targeted marketing. You are able to reach the exact people you want to reach to, the exact demographic, the exact location, and that way it is simplifies how you do uh, your digital marketing. For example, using traditional marketing, you could use a budget of 1 million Kenyan shillings to get to 10,000 people. But yeah. when it, uh, it comes to digital marketing, you could use a budget of 100,000 Kenyan shillings to reach the same 10,000 people. But for digital marketing, you don't reach just 10,000 people. You can reach 1 million people using that 100,000 budget. Wow, interesting. I love the fact that, you know, you're talking about reaching numbers, uh, a certain number of people. Now, for, for example, for a starting company or a startup or somebody who is starting something and they want to actually have those huge and massive numbers, where do they start from? So the basic point uh, is having a website. Then uh, make sure your website is integrated on all social media platforms. That counts from Pinterest, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, Twitter. Those are the major ones. Yeah. Then make sure your website is also linked from those sides so that whoever finds you, whenever they find you, made be Pinterest, Twitter, Instagram, LinkedIn, they have a way back to your website. Yeah. You know, the, um, you are attracting customers to your uh, business. Yeah, But those social media platforms, they don't give you a very nice platform for you to explain exactly your services. But when you come up with a website, you're able yeah. to uh, list down all your services. Like, let's say you are selling clothes. Yeah. So from your website, you are able to advertise shirts, men's shirts. Yeah, men's shirts, yeah. And then I grow interest in buying or knowing more about that shirt. Okay. Then I click on your ad, it will be, it will direct me on your Website. To the website directly. Then yeah. on the website, you're able to list men's shirt, women's shirt, children's shirt, whatever. So yeah. when I come to your website, I see other products I can buy even for my family. Yeah. So that's how our website helps you. And that's why it's the basic unit of digital marketing. Digital and marketing. Media management. Wow, fantastic. And uh, at Agency 254 now, uh, for example, a client is watching and they want to approach you to do that. Uh, how do they go about with that one? So for our, our strategy is um, we first have a meeting. We agree what you guys want. The, your gap, the gap you need to fill, your, um, what you want to invest in that, what, um, uh, what challenges you are facing. We analyze all those problems. And then okay. we come uh, back to you with a proposal. Yeah. And then we analyze the strategy we're going to use, the period we're going to do that strategy, and then from there, we are able now to have another sitting to now agree on the way forward. Wow. Uh, in this 
in this day and age everybody wants to be visible on instagram especially for people who are in the public domain or leave alone anyone who has aspirations wanting to maybe have some certain number of followers on tiktok instagram facebook or any other social media platform and they're just posting content maybe they're posting small small videos now or for agency 254 just in case uh, somebody wants to maybe make their social media platform visible what can they do so um when you come to Agents 254, the first, uh, we, we deal with facts there. So we shall tell you followers, they'll never help you. Yeah. Whatever helps you build your brand is an audience. An audience, huh? So, and then you have and to how, pay how them. And how do you tap into that audience now? So that's where I'm heading. You have to pay audience for them to give you their attention. Okay. So you have to be very consistent with what you're doing. Uh -huh. Share your story as a company. So... That way you'll be able to get a very good audience. You know it's better to have 1,000 audience that supports you. That yeah. have 2 million followers. followers. Yeah. yeah. This 1,000 like audience. The posts. Yeah. This uh, 1,000 audience will be able to, assuming every 1,000 audience is paying you 1,000 bob per yeah. month. Yeah. That's a lot of money you're gaining. But how do you extract but money from the audience itself? So that's why you have to come up with your story, your own story. Be strategic on what you're posting. Uh -huh. Be and strategic on what you're posting. Huh? Be consistent. Be consistent, number two. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because strategic, you know, consistent, people uh -huh. pay for value. Yeah, when I'm going online, if you're money, not paying yeah. me value, I'll not visit your page. I'll True. just see your post and skip it. And it disappear, yeah. Yeah, but if you're offering me value, I'll offer you my time and attention. Yeah, and that will convert to money eventually. Interesting. You reminded me of something. Um, there's a couple of celebrities right about now. Like right now you can be a celebrity. Even this interview can trend and next time you are a CEO of the next big company in town. Uh, you've come across, uh, I'll say, uh, public figures who have, like somebody has 1.2 million followers on Facebook or Instagram or Twitter with over a million uh, subscribers on YouTube, but they are posting and they're only getting 10 likes and 10 views and you ask yourself, what is not happening? So what happens, um, personally, I am not for influencer marketing. Okay. Because I know, uh, I, 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 not unless you are targeting, you are selling some other products, but for corporates, I would not go for uh, influencer marketing okay. because you see the people Why? who Why comment no? let's say a celebrity post something a Kenyan celebrity post something yeah the only thing you see there are those fire emojis people commenting there with fire mm, emojis yeah or people it's from other countries throwing yeah. in links about Bitcoin and Forex yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they, that that by that one they don't show any value uh -huh. so it's better you grow your own brand from scratch uh -huh. You go, uh, be focused, targeted, knowing you are, uh, what you're offering to these people, you want to be your followers. So for me, I would even go and advertise with someone with 2,000 followers compared to someone with, with 1 10, million followers. Million, yeah, because followers. I know the people who follow that specific individual are 2,000, but are people who can afford my product. Yeah. So you have to be very strategic with how you do your influencer marketing, how you do your digital marketing, and so forth. Right. Um, and uh, if you want to, if you want to tap, maybe you want to change, you want to switch audiences. And uh, it happens a lot to people who do something called rebranding. Now at uh, Agency 254, how do you help someone go with that, especially rebranding for companies? There's even companies that relaunch, they change from a different color theme to another different color theme, especially corporates. Even media stations, even TV and radio, they can change from a certain theme color to another with different graphics and whatnot for you if you were to come in for example for us at y254 so how would you make us strategize us to actually have visibility online so what we do is uh, if you want a full rebranding we start with your logo your tagline okay. we come logo with tagline uh -huh. company profile uh -huh. we company come with profile. a brand uh -huh. manual okay a brand manual means um, these are the brand guidelines that we follow all through whenever you're doing a poster whenever you're doing a banner you're printing t-shirts these are the color themes that you should use we give all, all you options of the colors one two three four five yeah so you you, you come with the you come up with a manual that has all those components right? yeah yeah uh -huh. business cards t-shirts umbrellas 
everything. Everything, yeah. So that whenever you want to brand something or you have an event, you just extract it from the brand manual and then put it into a uh, print format. Interesting. So, so that means you'll be able to help uh, the company, you know, just have a facelift. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Um, you realize a lot of celebrities, uh, uh, let's, let's avoid the word celebrities, a lot of talents <laughs> who come up and they want to be visible and maybe they are musicians, uh, others, uh, uh, creatives, let's use the word creatives. They just want to be visible. They want to be viral. How, how can you help someone go viral? So that if somebody is watching back at home, they can come and pay you? There are some uh, business secrets that we do. Oh, like, you have business secrets. Yeah, like if you want, you, that, yeah. you come to me, you tell me, Mashal, I want to have one million followers. Uh -huh. How yeah. do you attack that? You just see results. You pay us with, with you, you, you see you results. Pay it <laughs> <laughs> and speaking of that, <laughs> interesting, yeah. interesting. And speaking of, of that, uh, who are some of maybe some of the public figures, celebrities that you've worked with and you've helped them, you know, grow that you would say, yes, I helped this one? The number one, uh, I would say, was Nadia Mukami. Okay. Was my very, my, I think was my third or my Your first third client. client yeah. Who was the first? Lempere and Lempere is the speaker of Samburu County. Oh wow, amazing! Huh? He was my first client. Then there was Fariji Africa, a company, an, orga an organization along Gong Road. Uh -huh. Then I think Nadia Mukami was my third. Wow. Okay. Then from there, um, recent, most recently we've worked with Coptic Hospital. Mm -hmm. We've worked with Isuzu. We've worked with Atlas. We've worked with Seven Sunday. So many companies. Yeah, so many com corporate yeah, companies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because you know, after COVID nineteen came, there was a wake up call yeah. for people to work on technology. True. Because uh, you yeah, most you companies actually shifted to online. Yeah. And shout out to Zoom because you are able to work from home and still be able to get your money and, and you're not coming physically at work. So that's just literally the power of technology, huh? Continue. Yeah, and because you know technology is on the go. Yeah, right there, you have your phone. I, I have my, my cell phone. You yeah. go on Facebook. When you we boost our product and we want you to be our target market, you'll be able to see our ad. Yeah, true, true. And true. that one has disrupted even the mainstream media. Because yeah, people. It, it's a di they call it the digital disruption. Yeah. yeah. People yeah. now, if instead of paying Y254 one million to do an ad at yeah. 9 p.m., yeah. why don't I use the same? and yeah. target this demographic, this age of people. On YouTube. Because you know there yeah. you are able to filter the demographic you want. Yeah, true. By true, age, true. by by sex, by location, uh -huh. by their interest. Maybe you target people who like golfing, yeah. people who like swimming. True, so you are true, able true, to true, stream true. it that way. Something that the mainstream media is not able mainstream to do. Mainstream media is not able to do, or they call it traditional media. Yeah. The most important thing a person who is watching right now is I want to make money. I want to earn money from that YouTube video or from that TikTok video. That's the most important thing they want to do. You ask, a youngin comes up, tells their dad, I need iPhone 11, I'll be vlogging. How do you make money out of social media? So number one, you'll be unique. That's okay. what I would say. Uh -huh. So you know, social media came and removed the gatekeeping part. In the uh, old media, it was very hard for me to get known. Okay. Because there are a lot of gatekeepers. You want to come to advertise at KBC. Yeah, true. You true, meet true. so many gatekeepers. The regulations, yeah. Yeah, regulations. That, that guide. But now the that, social yeah. media is giving a platform whereby you go by yourself, the yeah, way you are. You are free. So be unique. Uh -huh. uh, those um, flows you have, those are your uniqueness. Use true. them to gain traffic on your social media. How? How do you use your flows to gain traffic on social media? You know, um, if um, you are a corporate person like myself, okay. you think before posting anything, I think of what people think about me. Mm -hmm. But when you want to gain followers, use those flows that you have. Okay. And then you gain your own audience, which will be very huge. And right. you gain audience faster than I will gain right. because of yeah. those flows. Right. The, yeah. the things that you were afraid of sharing yeah. when you were young. Yeah. Like where you come from, your originality. Yeah. I see on TikTok people 
ladies doing mugidhi, hangra. Yeah. And then when I look at their followers, they have one million followers. One million followers. And uh -huh. they're even not known. They're not because known. They, yeah. they embrace the originality. The originality of their They content, are unique. Yeah. Uh -huh. They embrace their flaws. Mm -hmm. So that's how you are able to grow your audience. And mm -hmm. that's the, what the um, celebrities want, embrace, actually. Yeah. Yeah. And speaking of that, how do you monetize now TikTok? Because uh, I believe... Uh, uh, mm, just a description of that you are a web developer in kenya that is uh, a description that means you you help uh, a lot of companies to come up with you know a, a visible profile for themselves online but now mo the monetization part yeah so like the conversion statistics impressions clicks uh -huh. as i told do you we don't focus that? on that much uh, not on that much yeah what we focus on is making you visible making you visible on TikTok, online. Instagram, instagram youtube youtube but then we don't want to know what your conversion is like because mm -hmm. that's private so what we yeah. are interested in is how many clients are coming to you to you uh, through what we did okay so that's how we streamline our social media uh, advertisements across, across all platforms, platforms yeah okay. and then we are able to give you an analytics at each and every end of the month we give you a well detailed report yeah on what people we were able to reach mm -hmm. the budget we used um and how many conversions we got from our advertisements and postings right yeah. uh we can't do this without talking about uh i've worked in the digital space before at some point and uh there's we we had several tools that we were using to do tweets uh, schedule Facebook posts or Instagram posts. What are some of the tools that you've got at Agency 254 that you use? So for us, we, we were using them before. Uh -huh. Hootsuite. Hootsuite, yeah. Uh, I think CNN uses a lot of Hootsuite to do their content. Yeah, uh, but for us, yeah. we don't use them. Okay. We, use, we like using um, uh, normal human beings doing their postings. Like you, time, you just write down the post, da, 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 you type it and yeah, then you, you post. Yeah, you post on Facebook, you post, post on Instagram, on, Twitter, on yeah. LinkedIn. Because you know, when you um, schedule your post, yeah. you might schedule your post today. And uh -huh. then when you're posting tomorrow on Twitter, the hashtags or the topics that are trending, yeah. you know they trend just for four hours, the Twitter topics. Yeah. yeah so yeah, they'll yeah. not be trending tomorrow. tomorrow so yeah. it will be very difficult for your yeah. ad to be, or your post to be seen. So to that's seen, why yeah. we prefer when we're doing the posting, we do the research according to that specific time and then we post on each and every platform individually. Yeah. Yeah. And then no software has been able to do that. So that's why we use human capacity on that uh, angle. In that angle. All right. Interesting. Uh, we can't do this also without talking about the pandemic. Uh, and you said your company began in 2019. And what I know about, is, about the pandemic is that it, it held everything at a standstill and most companies laid off people, others were rendered jobless completely till today. At your company, how are you affected by the pandemic and how have you recovered, like your recovery process? Would you say you're ready in the recovery process? Are you out of the woods yet? It has been a very tough time since COVID-19 came because uh, you see we in, in the service industry, we are dealing with clients and then when it comes to these clients they are also in the service industry so they are dealing with uh, citizens so those these people became very insecure they don't know what will come tomorrow so they decided on saving their money and not investing yeah. on future projects on future project, so yeah. that's how we were greatly uh, affected but then after the covid uh, struck yeah was was almost over I, I up to now we are still recovering yeah post covid post covid yeah. yeah era so now the people have now embraced the technology part so yeah. for us um covid 19 was a blessing in disguise that's what i can say mm -hmm. yeah because it made people know the importance of technology importance of having social media management importance of digital marketing doing google ads and then also um, making the world a global village because yeah, yeah, yeah. most of my clients I've worked with are not actually Kenyans. Kenyans, yeah. Because you're from, saying it's from East Africa. Yeah, and, we work uh, from, with people from and across the world, yeah. India, yeah. US, Ghana, across the globe. All right. Yeah. Do you make profit at your company? Would you say? Because uh, I'm just saying here that uh, 
you get at least 10% in support of non-profits you believe in. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically why we're in business. Okay. Yeah. So whenever we do projects, we get paid and that's how we make our profit. And speaking of that, how many employees um, employees do you have at your company so far? At ages 254, we have over 10. Over right 10, huh? Yeah. Uh, quite a good number, though. Yeah. Interesting. Now, uh, for anyone who is watching right now back at home and uh, maybe they want to join Agency 254, uh, what are some of the things maybe they, they, should, they, they should know or they should be aware of about Agency 254, including some of the core values at your company? So most people who would be interested in this, mostly are developers, graphic designers. I know those are the most people. Who would developers be and graphic designers, yeah. yeah. But uh, you know the education system in Kenya doesn't equip us with the right knowledge to tackle the, 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 the market. The you think so? Market. You think so? It's a fact. It's a fact? Yeah. You would prove that in court? Yeah. You would prove? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> because I'm one of them. I know okay. what I was taught in school and what uh, companies are expecting in Kenya. Is, they are very different. Yeah. Because even myself, um, would I not have done my own research? Yeah. I will not be where I am today. True. Because yeah. in school you are taught theory. Mm -hmm. But then here you come and meet a client who tells you I want a domain. Yeah, true, true, true. true. You, you are not shown how to create a domain, how to purchase a domain, how to propagate a server, how to create emails, how to take the website live. No school does that in Kenya. So you have to learn it day by day. So for us, we've taken a lot of time learning yeah. all those things from scratch. I've seen it also has the IT part now. Like you've mentioned a domain and, and somebody, everybody wants to have a blog. They'll be like, hey, mina taka blog yangu buwana, ntako nkie kapu chakula, nini, mangu. Now for, how much do you charge for creating a blog or a domain? It depends. Uh -huh. It depends in very many factors. Like, are we the ones doing the content? Are you providing images? Oh, that means you can also do content for, for a client. Yeah, if you go through our website, we have content marketing, content writing, copywriting. We have graphic design. We have, so we are full house service. Yeah. Yeah, we have a good team to do all that kind of work. Okay. Yeah. So when it comes to charging, it depends on what exactly you want us to do. Mm -hmm. Then we analyze the scope and then we give you a good budget. How much? Just to mention. Maybe for a blog or website. Roughly. Roughly. That's a hard question. <laughs> you can roughly <laughs> say it so that if somebody's watching and because say, hey, please may he leave his number so that I reach out and get that. So our money. our minimum, the minimum charges we do for our website yeah. is a hundred thousand Kenyan shillings. Good lord, that's a good amount of money, right? It's a very small amount compared to what the value we shall be able to give you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Wow. Because you see this is an investment you are getting into. This is something so, that yeah. will grow for over maybe 40 years. Assuming you are still at your 20s, yeah. it will be giving you revenue each and every time. Yeah. Yeah. So if you calculate the amount of money to be able to give you in... Um, 20 years, uh -huh. 100k is a very small amount of money. And okay. we value that by, we are trying to change the industry in Kenya because mm -hmm. we know people have been uh, undervaluing creative work. Uh, true, true, true. I agree with you on that one. Yeah. But here we are coming to develop your website that we generate, we bring you uh, 50 million in a period of uh, three months, three, three years. Three months, 50 million. Hey. Three years. <laughs> Let's say three years. Yeah. Or if it's something like Spot Pesa, we are doing Spot Pesa for you. Uh -huh. It should bring you over th that. Over that amount. 300 that million, twice, yeah, maybe in three, three months. Yeah. So we try to look at that yeah. and then we try to argue with our clients. You are driving um, an Audi, mm -hmm. which has, is yeah, a liability. Anyways, how did you know anyway? You the invested in it, <laughs> which is a liability. <laughs> yeah. It's consuming from you. Uh -huh. By the way, yeah. True, 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 true. But you're not willing to invest in a business that will be giving you profit. Profit.
-hmm. that will be able to buy you those Audis. Yeah, many, <laughs> many, many of, of them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so that's yeah. why we try to make sure our yeah. clients understand because you know in Africa they that's don't strategy, understand literally. Yeah. yeah, they don't understand the importance of a website. They just think it's something simple. Yeah, it's like a, like a something you just click and you come back and yeah. you continue. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But, but I love the fact that you're so passionate and enthusiastic about this, and it's 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 your profession. You mentioned of 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 copyright mm -hmm. and. Uh, I think whose YouTube channel, it must have been Otila Brown or Bahati or Diana either that was suspended and uh, somebody had claimed, oh, a graphic was used, oh, they mentioned our name and you didn't want to be mentioned. How can anybody who has gone through that or who has experienced that avoid that so that they just stay afloat? The YouTube is there all day. Or so you're not suspended. Yeah. You t today, YouTube have improved. Whenever you post before your video or content is approved, they have to check whether it's copyrighted yeah. by someone else. So after that, that's uh, you are allowed to take your video live. Mm. So it's I, not. I easy. think explain first copyright. When you mean copyrighted, what do you mean for somebody who is watching and they say, "Hey, content yangu meko copyrighted or copyrighted." Mm -hmm. What does copyright mean? So copyright, um, there are regulatory bodies. In Kenya, it's KIPI. Yeah. And Kenya KFCB Industrial also. Properties Indust Institute, whereby mm -hmm. when you come up with a logo or a brand, you, okay. come, you go there and uh, list your brand. They do the search. Okay. And then, if no, and then they advertise their brand. Okay. For, I don't remember if it's 30 days or 60 days. And then if no one raises a complaint about the about brand, uh -huh. then you are given a go ahead to go use ahead to that go. Uh, brand. Uh -huh. So if you already copyrighted a brand like myself, Agents 254, mm -hmm. so if someone else comes there and says, I'm um, registering Agents 254 and start getting money using my company or my brand that I had copyrighted, so I can be able to sue them. Okay. And then they do whatever the court will be able to tell them to do to me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Now for the video? So for the video, it's the same. My, someone might have done, um, for the video, you know, it's now about the... Music sound. Yeah. The music, the, the beats in the instrumentals, music. Yeah. The instrumentals, yeah. The instrumentals. Or so, even some visuals. Yeah. Graphic visuals. Yeah. So if someone had them before, and they presented them to keep it Kenya industrial properties, uh, whatever. So it's, they can raise a claim against you. You used our creativity to... Um, generate revenue for your brand or for yourself mm. yeah i've i've seen uh, i've seen uh, videos where influencers uh give uh what they call they give they confirm or they mention instrument if you go in the description you check instrumentals by blah 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 or in this in this nini the the music i'm playing is not mine i do not own rights to the music does that help sometimes yeah, Even on Instagram live nowadays, you can't play music that's not yours, like f especially for international artists. If you go live on IG and you start playing a couple of the music, your live is stopped. Instagram will tell you your Instagram live has been paused because the music is not yours unless you put that disclaimer. Yeah. So technically what happens in the IT world, not even the, on social media, even when we are using an image and you know you've gotten this image from someone else's website, uh -huh. you have to credit that, credit that person. person. Uh -huh. So the same has been applied. I, I see it today, in, even in Facebook, the America brought up that uh, law. Yeah, true, you have true, to, true. If you're using someone else's image, you have to credit that it's person. It's called the Fair Use, right? Yeah. The Fair yeah. Use Act. Yeah. yeah. So that people who see that image can acknowledge the creative work of of that the, original, of the original producer. producer of the yeah. content, yeah. yeah. Because in, in, in this day and age, there's a lot of duplication and replication. Somebody wants to trend with someone else's content, yeah. 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 Alrighty, uh, let's come back to uh, some of the best websites you've created in Kenya that you'd say, like, this one is among the top, most top known, apart from the artist you mentioned, Nadia Mukami. This one is now, like, for the websites that you say, if you go onto that website, it's one of the best in Kenya. All our websites are top notch, uh -huh. so I can't be able to single out which specific website is the best. Okay. Because we do our best and we serve every client of ours as an equal to each other. Yeah. So all of them we've done are top notch. Yeah. 
Yeah. So if you want to see our work, you can visit agents254.com slash portfolio. You'll be able to see our A summary projects. of your work. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Uh, feedback now. Managing feedback. Um, for people who are public figures, so let's say people who have, like, let's say, quite a number, they have a lot of DMs, responses, emails coming through. How do you manage that even for an individual company? For those that have not hired yet a social media, they call them a social media management person. How do they manage feedback? So there are things called autoresponders. I don't know whether you are conversant with yeah. them. Yeah? So you post, uh, you comment on, or you send a text via, you DM someone on Instagram, then you get an instant response. So that's autoresponder, number one. Yeah, number yeah, two, yeah, there yeah, are yeah, general two, two. questions okay. that people usually ask. Mm -hmm. So we answer them. Number three, there are technical questions. For example, you are in a hospital. Some, someone asked for these specifications, this, this, this. So we are able, we, pro, we proceed and inquire from the company, people who are experts in that field. Okay. So sometimes we, when it's too technical, we have to get someone from the same company who is an expert in that specific area to answer that, that specific question. question. Yeah. So we liaise with them. Whenever we are having control over your social media, you also have access uh, for that purpose. Yeah, I remember something. We are winding up. Uh, there's some of the tools like Grammarly. There's one, uh, I think it has escaped. Uh, like oh, the way you, if, if you want to be a, bl a blogger, there's, there's specific tools used for writing. Which, which are some of the ones that you've got at Agency 254, especially for writers' blogs? We have all of them. Uh -huh. Grammarly, Tantin. So because you know when you're doing content, you have to make sure it's original. It's you have professional to also. It. Yeah. yeah, professional, original. You have to check your grammar. Tantin, you have to check if it's plagiarized before even posting. Okay. Yeah, so those are the most common. Um, tools when it comes to blogging, that is grammar and eternity. Right. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, I think I'm um, being told we have come to a close. Uh, just in case somebody who's watching and they want to access you, where can they access you? Is there a number? Is there a social media platform? Uh, that's your camera right there. Uh, you can follow me on um, tweet, or across all platform that is Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, um, Mashari Angatia. Then uh, you can follow our company, that is agents254.com. Yeah, any yeah. number that maybe somebody can call to reach out My to? number is 0718-546-247. All righty. Yeah. Thank you so much, uh, Masharia, for coming through. And that has been a conversation about social media management, just in case you need help or you want to start something into the digital space. He's actually the right guy to speak to right about now. As we come to a close, ensure that you continue engaging with us on our social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter is at y 254 channel. Remember on Instagram, there's an underscore in minds. It's at Brian Sacco 101. We are taking a short break. When we come back with Val, we've got you with so much more. So please don't touch the dial.